It's the doing that's what's tough, right? And it's the doing that separates the dreamers from the doers. It's the people, you know, Elon Musk who says, you know, I've made all this money with PayPal. So he started one thing and finished it. I can only imagine he was sitting there going, geez, okay, so I got a billion dollars. Now what? I'm starting over again, right? So can you imagine this guy going, all right, so I'm, God, what am I gonna do? Geez, uh, well, shit, I'm gonna, I'm gonna start a rocket ship company. Huh, yeah, that sounds good. I'm gonna start a rocket ship company. Well, governments do that. Companies, oh, I'm, I'm doing it, right? And then if that wasn't enough, he sat around and goes, uh, well, hell, okay, I got a little extra time, that rocket ship thing. Eh? I'm gonna start a car company. I'm gonna build it from scratch. And I'm not even gonna talk to those guys from Detroit. So this craziness of doing it, right, is a, a, a freaky animal because it invites all kinds of things into the mix here, right? Editorial from friends and family. Most parents will be supportive of their kids, but they'd much rather they be doctors and lawyers or professionals than musicians because it's not because they don't want to deny you your moment because they know how tough it is, okay? And they, they don't want you to be the 50-year-old rocker on Sunset Boulevard with his spray-on jeans and his black dyed hair that's not going to ever make it, right? Um, it, it invites... One of my favorite things, and you touched on it earlier, I call it the FIP fact. Show me that slide, gentlemen. Here's the three ball and chains of dreaming right here, baby. Fear, insecurity, and paranoia. Anybody, let's be honest, any of you guys ever felt those? Last night I was gripped with fear, insecurity, and paranoia, going, why am I up here? I'm driving myself crazy. What am I gonna say to all these people? And now we're in here, and it's grooving because we're having a conversation. But fear, insecurity, uh, fear of failure. Do you worry about failing? I still do. Do you, uh, do you sometimes worry, are you good enough? Have I just been bullshitting my way for 36 years? Am I just the luckiest guy on the planet? Do I really have what it takes? I've kind of worked through that thing. Okay, 36 minutes of luck, 36 months, 36 years is stretching, but every day, I'm an insecure wreck, okay? Paranoid, oh, didn't somebody keeping me from doing this, the man's holding me down, all this crap, right? Fear, insecurity, and paranoia, that's what doing invites into the mix. So for all you people that are thinking about dreaming and then doing, and that scared the death out of you, just dream, it's okay. You don't have to be a doer. It, it, you, know, you don't have to invite all that stuff in. The reason I tell you that is because the one thing that you guys already know is that this business is really freaking tough. Thank you very much, okay. Uh, your chances of success are very slim. You got a better shot of winning the lottery than you do of being successful in the music business. And most reasonable people wouldn't do this if they were just calculating the odds. So why do you do it, right? Um, I'm gonna tell you a story for me. I, one of those mentors I had early on in my career was a guy by the name of Bob Geddes, who was a former NFL football player and a great business guy. So I would always go into his office and we'd talk about the business and stuff. So you know, one day I walked into his office, I had some freaking wacky idea about something, right? And he listens to me and he goes, let me tell you something, Steve. You know, in life, Steve, there's a million things that whisper at you, that whisper at me. You know what I've learned, Steve? What, Bob? I only listen for the screams, man. And if it ain't screaming at me, I ain't doing anything about it. So that's a whisper. I need some screams. Get out of here and find me a scream, right? Now, so I think about that all the time because if the music business and being an artist or being a music professional isn't screaming at you, okay, you should get out. But if it is screaming at you, then you got to go out and do it, right? You got to dream and then do.